Welcome back everyone, Minecraft X here with another ULAC case review. This is the ULAC Knox Armor used for iPod Touch 5. You can visit their website at ulaccases.com. This was sent to me in the mail by ULAC Innovative Design, a passion for protecting your most prized possession. Maybe not most prized, definitely most valuable. Designed in Italy by ULAC and made in China. Now I can say just by looking at this, it looks impressive. So without anything further, time to check out the case. Now, when they called it Knox Armor, they meant Knox Armor. This does include an instructions booklet for how to install, which I'll be showing you how to do. Here, of course, before we begin, is my iPod 5, my gaming unit. There's that. So, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Now, first, you're going to want to remove the inside plastic slip, which is actually... Oh, wow, that's like rubber. Alright, so following these step-by-step -step instructions, I will be showing you how to install this because you guys, we're both experiencing this together. After you remove this from the package, you're going to want to start by taking off this back plating for the stand. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install this thing. So you're going to start by grabbing the back of the TPU. So, so. And it's not about applying pressure, but it's about applying pressure in a certain position. So Grab it and lift it over that ring of plastic. So you're going to want to go around the edges, just pushing this whole outer layer off. Just go around the corners. It's a bit tricky, but it isn't too hard to get the hang of. And hey, with this kind of difficulty, you know your iPod's in good hands. <laughs> it's just like that because it's brand new. But while I am busy doing this, feel free to notice the nice interior design of the case. It looks pretty good. As I said later in the video, they didn't skimp on a single portion of this case. I found it easier by trying to get my finger under the l inside layer of the built-in screen protector, and yes, that is a built-in screen protector. It does not include a stylus pen, but hey, a built-in screen protector, that's an extra perk. So th there, and then you're gonna just, after you can do that, remove that entire layer. Now there are two layers, plastic layers, I peeled the first one off earlier, you're gonna wanna peel that off on the front and back of the built-in screen protector, and it's got like a cool little grid, you can see all those dots. Anyway, you're gonna start by flipping your iPod into the front of the case. You're just gonna snap the corners in, you'll hear a noise. Okay, there we go. And then you're gonna start from one corner, oops, and push that covering around the rest of it. You can lock these two, two side knobs that lock in place. You're gonna wanna lock those over and just pull Pull the case over the sides of this and over the corners. Alright, so there we go. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the main case first. The ULAC Knox Armor. When they said Knox Armor, they meant Knox Armor. This thing is just... It just looks tough. I love the design. The design, they didn't, they didn't skimp on any of the angles. They didn't, like, cut any corners in the design. I think it looks great. And, of course, all your favorite little accessory add-ons and all the functions of this are still perfectly available to use. There it is from that. You can see the built-in screen protector around the home button. And, no, it's, there's, there's no interference. The screen protector is perfect. Yeah, there's nothing blocking the front camera or the back camera. 100% perfect in visuals and everything. Then, of course, for our volume buttons, they have the positive and negative symbols for that. And then for your charger ports, you do have this flap that you can pull back for the charger. Exposed exits for the speakers, and there's that for the charger. And then there's that for the headphone jack. I had no trouble fitting those in. So, now that we took a look at the case, which I think is going to do perfectly fine if we get to that drop test, 
Now we have this attachment that just clips on like this and there's actually a hook right here that will hook into the side of the case. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You're going to want to put the two bottom corners in and then this will just snap over the side like and you that. You have this 360 degree rotating clip bar that you can just lock into place and it will stay. You can clip it on on the edge right there and then you got your stand it will actually stand up and will stay up you can use that that's good for like having just you know a stand you can clip this onto the inside of your pocket and that will lock in pretty good then you just push the button and it'll snap shut and of course we do get more designs all around this thing of course and you just see earlier there's some foam on the inside for cushioning the iPods so that's really good for multi-purpose uses and to get this out you just lift this tab and it comes out very easily just like that this will be in this video i hope you enjoy watching this ula case review the knox armor you can get this for around 10 through 15 dollars for many devices a link will be in the description to purchase and be sure to buy it in your favorite colors i hope all your questions were answered if not feel free to leave a comment i will fill you in in case you're wondering who I am, I'm a 100% kid-friendly YouTuber. I do some really cool stuff. Feel free to check out my other videos. I'm sure you're like to be fine, and do consider joining the squad by subscribing. This is Minecorps X, and until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Over and out. I'm pretty confident in this case. Should I, should I do a drop test? Uh, well, okay. Tell you what. If this video gets to 50 likes, I will do an Ulak Knox armor drop test. But here's the catch. For every dislike is minus one like. So if there are two likes and one dislike, there's only one like. So if we can get 50 positive likes, I will do a new like next time we drop test. Though it probably may not be a smart thing to do. Oh, I should not have said that.